Okay, back in 3D Studio Max, and we're going to set this scene up so that we can render something that looks half decent. So what I've done is, actually, I, I tend to bring in a model from another scene, which is just a couple of boxes around the outside with just some black and white parts to them, so that works as a nice reflector object. But that's not at all necessary, that's just something to think about. You can try out different objects in your scene to affect the GI system, which I'm setting up right now. Um, I am using the irradiance map and light cache as my two bounces. And I was I meant to turn on the calculation phase for the light cache, not for the irradiance map. Uh, I'm just setting up some basic settings. You can certainly look on the V-Ray you know, documentation to see what are good settings to use. Um, I tend to just you know, throw in some settings in the beginning, see how it goes, adjust it from there. So test renders is you know, something that's always going to take a while, but um, you can turn the resolution down for test renders or something like that to try and speed things up. But uh, in for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to cut the test renders out, obviously. Uh, so, we're just setting up some basic materials. I have one material for the main metal, and one material for the metal uh, grip section. And then, in a minute, we are going to set up a black texture for the dial image, which we made in Photoshop and we're going to bring in and map to our safe lock. So, at this point I'm going to draw out a V-Ray light and V-Ray lights are affected by size and direction they're pointing in so keep that in mind and you know if you move it closer, further away, make it bigger that will affect the lighting. So, um, at the moment I just have it in the scene with uh, multiply over about 9 or something like that and just I'll see how a test render goes in a minute and adjust it from there so here's our test render and as you can see it's blown out it's way too bright so first thing I'm going to do is just set the reflect and diffuse a little darker for the metal play with the glossiness a little bit and I will turn the light down in the end. In fact, I might turn down also the environment override that can work well in taking down brightness as well. So, at this point, we're just going to map the dial image because it occurred to me it's important to set your scene up before you worry too much about lighting because the different aspects of the scene could affect the lighting and you could waste your time, you know, redundantly setting up lighting and then need to change it later. So, I am going to set up the style image. Now, how I do this is, as you saw, I took the polygons of the area where it's going to be mapped and holding shift and just dragging on the move tool just the tiniest little bit, I have duplicated those polygons right over the top of the old ones just a tiny little bit closer to the camera and it's on these new ones that I set the black texture and then map the dial image as an opacity map just like that so if you're unclear on that I'm sure there'd be tutorials out there but that's generally a good way to do this sort of thing because you can easily control what color the dial image is going to come up as just by controlling the black texture so just to clarify it is uh, an entirely duplicated set of polygons with an entirely black texture and we are just mapping the image as sort of like a cookie cutter mold to cut out the shape of the dial image because we saved it from Photoshop as a PNG with transparency so continuing on I've played with some more environment settings, light settings um, at this point I'm playing around with the idea of a fall off for my metal and you can see how these test renders are going, it's getting better and finally I'm just going to set the resolution to what I want take you know a couple of final settings um, put everything in place in my scene also I have included a couple of little objects like this 
uh, box just with a V-Ray light material on it and just a big black or well, sort of dark box as a bit of a reflector and finally we can render.